seized since February's invasion. Officials in the city are warning that supplies of bread and medicine have run out. Our international editor, Jeremy Bowen, has reached Kherson and described the scenes there. A middle-aged man called Yuri told me how he spent 200 days in his house, keeping out of the way of the Russians. A market trader called Tatiana said a Sunday without Russians was the best Sunday there could be. But then she took out a phone and showed images of her 20-something son after he was held by the Russians and beaten for nine days. The main emotions he has seen to be patriotism and belief as well as caution and some King Charles has, for the first time as monarch, led the nation on Remembrance Sunday in paying respects to those who've given their lives in conflict. He laid a wreath at the cenotaph alongside other senior royals, politicians and faith leaders. Terry Bullingham, who was injured while serving in the Falklands War, was among the veterans who joined the parade. To actually be here is a privilege, isn't it? Big Ben, Spike at 11, wonderful. And I think of lots of people. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. President Biden has said he is looking forward to the next couple of years after the Democrats retain control of the U.S. Senate. The party hit the key threshold of 50 seats with a win in Nevada. There's still one more seat to be decided in Georgia. That will happen next month. But whoever wins that one, with the vice president of Commonwealth,